Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. But today is a little bit different. Today is Valentine's Day, so I wanted to do something special by doing a message just on love. And um, so happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so so it's something that has always been a struggle for me loving um, not just my not just the people who love me but loving my enemies it's something that I have struggled with a lot um, and it's something that I've been praying on for those of you who have been with the channel for a while you know that I've had a lot of I've had to deal with a lot of bullies in my life and I've suffered from anxiety and depression and being in the midst of those situations um, where you are anxious and depressed and then you have to um, face your enemies and give them the love of God it's not always easy and it's something that I have been struggling with and I've been praying on you know over the years I've developed a lot of coping mechanisms I um, am great at putting on a mask or at least I think I'm good at it <laughs> um, putting on a mask and keeping a shining face keeping a calm attitude you know treating people with respect um, but God told me that he shined a light on it um, that you know not only is he judging me by my actions but he's also judging my heart and what is the use if my actions are pure but my heart isn't um, he's going to my heart he's really inspecting my heart so although I may act you know like a child of God in those situations and when people are hurtful and mean to me I might just like they say put coals on their head and you know just kill them with kindness you know all those sayings but inside I'm fuming and you know I'm fiery and I, I want to be angry and in, I'm thinking about all these horrible things like you know while I'm just smiling and being nice to them and I just was starting to feel so fake like you know my actions aren't in harmony with my heart and it was causing me a lot of turmoil so whenever you are having a struggle with anything what you should do is take it to God and that's what I did I went to God and I just asked him like God you know how can I love people who continually hurt me how can I love people who are intentionally trying to provoke me how can I love people who are bullying me and who are mean to me I mean, I've read your word and it says, you know, turn the other cheek, which I can do. You know, I allow myself to be a punching bag and I allow myself to get stoned day after day where people are just provoking me, trying to provoke me, trying to pull me out of that character of God. And I realize that it's easier when my heart isn't in harmony with my actions. So if I'm just being fake and smiling, even though inside I'm hurting and, you know, I'm feeling angry, um, you know, then it's not, it's easier for them to pull me out of that space. So, you know, I just went to God and I said, God, how do, how do I love them? And God, you know, as he does, when you ask him a question, he'll respond with another question. And he asks me, well, what is love? And so obviously the Bible is very explanatory when it comes to love. So I went to the verse that most people or the passage that most people are very familiar with, even people who aren't Christians, 1 Corinthians 13, um, 4 through 7. So right now I'm reading out of the New Living Translation and it goes like this. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. So I read that and obviously I picked out a bunch of those characteristics that I could work on. And, you know, it's something that I've I'm praying to God about regularly just having more patience not just for those that I love but for those that I don't and um, to you know working on being rude you know sometimes when I'm having a bad day or when I'm feeling um, you know a little bit lower energy you know I might not have slept as well the night before um, I can be rude or short with people um, I can be too blunt and not speak graciously so those are some of the things that you know I'm working on with God I'm also 
easily irritated by those who are trying to hurt me. So if I know that you're trying to provoke me, then sometimes I get um, very impatient and very irritated in the situation. I want to quickly remove. Sometimes, you know, I put on my self-defense. I talk about it with some people about like I become a porcupine where my needles just come out and I'm like, stay away from me. So I'm just kind of like mean because I want you to stay away. If you're being mean to me, I don't want you near me. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking over these things about all these things that I can do better and I'm asking God you know how can you know it's easy to say be more patient but how can I be more patient how God and God said is that the only translation you know and I was like well no there's other translations so he took me back to the King James Version so this is definitely something that you should put um, in place in your Bible study if you're not already doing it you know when you are struggling with something and God is directing you to a verse or a passage um, make sure you're looking at the other translations because God is so amazing in the way he created our world and our lives he designed things to fit together. And, you know, I often um, am so overjoyed by the various translations of the Bible because they bring more and more understanding, a deeper knowledge. Um, so I gravitate towards the New Living Translation because it's easier for me to understand, but I think the King James Version is also important. And all these translations are good to work um, side by side with each other. You know, one is not better than the other, but they are all good for the glory of God. <laughs> so I'd like to read the King James Version for you. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity valueth not itself, is not puffed up. Doubt not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in inequity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Amen. God is so good, isn't he? When I read that, I realized that in the New Living Translation and a lot of the newer um, translations in the Bible, charity is then exchanged for love. And, you know, I went to God and said, wow, I never knew that. All these years that I've been loving God, I never knew that they changed that word from charity to love. Love is charity. And it just sparked a fire in me. And, you know, I just had to immediately start praising God because he was revealing so much truth to me in that moment. He said, you know, you find it so easy. I love to volunteer. Um, so it's, easy he told me you know it's so easy for you to go to the food bank and feed people who are in need um, but why is it so hard for you to feed those who need God with me feed those people who are in need with God you know God's word is the bread of life they need to be fed he said who needs more charity then the poor, those without the riches in heaven, those without the riches that God gives us, those without God's abundance. Who's more needy than somebody who doesn't have God? You know, who's more needy than somebody who doesn't know the Father? Who's more needy than somebody who doesn't have the bridegroom? You know, the Bible talks so much about, um, you know, helping the poor, the needy, the orphaned, the widowed. And it's so easy to take those verses so literally. But sometimes those verses can be spiritual as well as literal. So a orphan is somebody who doesn't have the Father God. A widow is somebody who doesn't have the bridegroom. You know, somebody who is poor is somebody who doesn't have the riches that God gives you, the spiritual wealth that, you know, us as Christians come to know. And when God really revealed that to me, I, I was just like, man, you know, I've been so stingy with God's love. I haven't been giving it freely and generously. I haven't been generous with God's love, the love that he has so easily given me. So now when I look at my enemies and when people are hurtful and mean to me, I kind of feel sad for them. I feel sorry for them. I'm looking at them as if I would look at an orphan or a widow or somebody who's poor or needy. 
you know, somebody who doesn't have a home. You know, you look at a homeless person on the street and you, you feel sorry for them. You're like, what can I do to help you? You know, do you need clothes? You know, do you need a place to stay? Do you need food to eat? But when somebody is, doesn't live within the temple of God, when they don't have a home with God, we don't look at them that same way. And so I've been coming to realize you know, God has given, given me such clarity with this that now when people are mean to me and rude to me, I give them that charity. I give them the love of God. And it's changed everything. It's definitely opened up my heart. It's healing my heart. It's allowing me, you know, when people are constantly trying to provoke me, I'm like, oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry that that's the way you have to live. Um, you know, let me show you God. Let me give you God as an offering. And, you know, I'm still, this is still fresh and new for me. So it's something that I have to pray about every day because when my outside is, you know, sh representing God very well, I have to make sure that my inside is, is as well. So in that moment, when somebody is being hurtful or rude or mean to me, I have to ask God, like, okay, God, help me give them your love. Help me give them your charity. You know, help me give them what you have so easily given me you know help give let me give you the burden of the anger and the hurt that they're giving me let me give that to you heal my heart lord you know proverbs 4:23 says guard your heart because everything you do flows from that so we need to really guard our heart and make sure that we are loving our our enemies and loving those who provoke us we are being patient and kind with them we're not being rude to them even if they are rude to us if they're boasting we're not going to boast with them if we're if they're if you know they can you know go about their day we're not going to be jealous of them we're not going to be too prideful we're not going to demand our way we're not going to be irritable um, or easily provoked we're not going to keep any record of being wronged so when that same person comes to us that hurt us yesterday and is going to come to us and hurt us today we're not going to remember what they did yesterday and is the minute we start we recognize that we have remembered it we're going to give it to God and we're going to say no God you know I don't accept what they did yesterday I'm not going to hold on to that wrong I'm going to give it back to you I'm going to give it to you and let you heal my heart from that wrong because obviously it's still hurting me and you're I'm going to offer them my forgiveness as charity because they need it <laughs> they are definitely needed because they don't have you God and it just changed everything so remember as you go through this Valentine's Day just remember that love is charity and there's a lot of needy people out there. So don't just think of the orphaned, the widow, the needy, the poor in such a literal sense. Think of it in a spiritual sense and really just give people the charity that they need so much. Give them the love of God. So that is my message on love today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day. I love you.